For more than 60 years, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory has applied science and technology to make the world a safer place. Livermore's Data Science Institute, the DSI, was established in 2018 to enable excellence in data science research and applications across the lab's core missions. You might not think of a national lab as being at the forefront of biomedical research. In fact, we are advancing health sciences in many ways using data science techniques. For example, we're modeling the structural connectivity of the human brain to predict outcomes for traumatic brain injury. We're tackling the drug development pipeline for cardiovascular diseases and simulating protein interactions that inform cancer diagnosis and treatments. Here are some other ways the lab's data scientists work with domain scientists to address major challenges in healthcare. The lab is home to some of the world's most powerful supercomputers. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, we're using computer models to search for potential antibody and antiviral drug treatments. Researchers are computationally screening over 700 million commercially available small molecule compounds to identify the subset that can be developed into antiviral drugs for COVID-19. When potential candidates are identified, we conduct additional machine learning screens for improving safety and pharmacokinetic profiles of the potential drugs. Using AI-driven computational designs, our scientists are also optimizing methods that use antibodies to combat COVID-19. We have identified an initial set of therapeutic antibody sequences designed in a few weeks using machine learning and supercomputing resources aimed at binding and neutralizing the virus that causes COVID-19. The research team is performing experimental testing on the chosen antibody designs. As these new designs are improved through an iterative computational experimental process, they could enable a safer, scalable pathway to using antibodies as potential treatments for people stricken with the disease. We hope to uh, build a pipeline, integrated pipeline of experimentation and computation that can support and help uh, create countermeasure for this current pandemic as well as help strengthen the preparedness for future pandemics. I believe that this is a very well um, uh, directed effort and uh, was able to bring a lot of different disciplines and different laboratories across uh, the nation together and work towards one goal. To help accelerate discovery of therapeutic antibodies or antiviral drugs for COVID-19, we have launched a searchable data portal to share our COVID-19 research with scientists worldwide and the general public. The portal houses a wealth of data our scientists have gathered from ongoing COVID-19 molecular design projects. The data is queryable by criteria such as chemical structure and binding probability scores, so outside researchers can easily locate relevant data for their own work. Hi, I'm Peggy Lee, a computer scientist at LLNL in the Comp Directorate. In the past, our team had worked on applying machine learning on scientific literature, specifically nanomaterial literature, and the vis visualization of the extracted data. The goal was to automatically extract and structure targeted information and gain insight over a large corpus of papers. And when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, we really wanted to use our experience to help in the efforts against it by using a similar pipeline to examine trends and drugs mentioned within the literature. We use the COVID-19 open research data set, which contains over 150,000 papers about COVID-19 and related coronaviruses. We extracted chemical mentions from the papers, and then we targeted small therapeutic organic compounds by using databases like Kemble and Keg. The databases also contained categories for these drugs, specifically uh, anatomical, therapeutic, chemical categories and efficacies. These categories are what allowed us to facet our data and create useful visualizations that don't just overwhelm the user with a large list of chemicals. The visualization gives a faceted view of the drugs in the literature, and if you select the antiviral ATC category, you can explore the efficacies and drugs in papers with that ATC. We can also associate dates with the drug mentions. So here's a drug that was mentioned commonly in the past decades. And then we can also see that there are drugs that are mentioned only within the past year uh, in relation to coronavirus. We hope that our tool is able to help people in the community to quickly look 
for drugs and historic trends in drugs within the COVID-19 literature. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jay Tyagarajan, a machine learning researcher at the Center for Applied Scientific Computing. Our team at Livermore focuses on utilizing AI techniques and high-performance computing to solve challenging problems in healthcare. I lead a number of research efforts pertinent to designing deep learning solutions for disease diagnosis and prognosis. We have developed state-of-the practice techniques to process time-varying clinical data such as EEG, ECG, and health records. Our team also deals with several widely adopted imaging modalities, including CT, MRI, DTI, and histopathology. Our past work includes the study of lung, brain, and breast cancer data, and more recently, we have been involved in the study of COVID-19 infections using chest X-rays. Another important area of our work is in building machine learning solutions for structured data, in particular graphs. Our team leads a critical effort in modeling structural and functional brain connectomes to investigate the onset and progression of traumatic brain injuries. We are also investigating uh, a new class of AI models that can effectively leverage biological knowledge graphs to obtain robust and interpretable predictions. Finally, the unique challenges presented by clinical data such as the need to prioritize patient safety and privacy requirements have motivated us to investigate the vulnerabilities of AI models in real-world settings. This includes research in uncertainty quantification, domain generalization, and explainable AI. We have strategic collaborations with clinical experts, academic researchers, and AI practitioners to build highly effective solutions for healthcare. Look at our publications and news articles for details about our work. If you are an aspiring researcher interested in carrying out high-impact work in healthcare AI, do check out for opportunities at Livermore and do join us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Alan Kaplan. I'm a computer scientist, and I work on developing algorithms that analyze large amounts of data on some of the world's largest computers. In this project, we're working with neuroscientists at the University of California, San Francisco. And it's been a lot of fun to get to a point where we can effectively collaborate together. The data that we're working with is from patients that are in a monitoring ward at the University of California, San Francisco. And we're collecting data that are recorded from various sites on their brains. We then develop complicated algorithms that can decode those data and predict how the patient will be progressing over time. One of the aspects of this project that we have focused on is in modeling mood or emotional affects that the patients undergo through various points of time during their stay. One of the next great challenges, in my opinion, um, since these algorithms and software depend on acquiring large amounts of data, it's actually in the collection of larger quantities of data that we can use to further understand different aspects of the way that the brain works. So this work is uh, important to people outside the lab. Uh, for one, potential discoveries here could help patients. So it could help patients in terms of, of making better predictions. Uh, it can help doctors in planning surgeries. And it can also help us better understand the inner workings of the brain. At Livermore's Data Science Institute, we push the boundaries of scientific study through multidisciplinary collaboration and mentoring of the next generation. The DSI offers a unique summer program, the Data Science Summer Institute, or DSSI, where students have an opportunity to learn and apply new skills to real-world problems and have access to the lab's unique data and computing resources. Please visit these websites to learn more about Livermore Lab, the Data Science Institute, and our continued efforts to solve major problems in healthcare while advancing data science disciplines. We are always hiring and interested in collaboration, and we encourage researchers to apply for use of our supercomputers via the COVID-19 HPC Consortium. Thank you, and stay safe. <laughs>